Umar Welfare Trust uh, continues to support brothers and sisters from the Rohingya community um, who are fleeing oppression in Myanmar. Um, many people have very, very saddening stories to tell. Um, there are about 800,000 people now who are who are um, who have fled the violence and oppression there, and they are uh, they fled over into Bangladesh um, on the on the outskirts of Cox's Bazar. Um, we just want to reiterate that your donations are making a difference. Um, I am here now in the Tiankali camp, which is on the border, uh, just on the outskirts of um, Cox's Bazar. Uh, we did a food distribution here yesterday. The food distribution, be uh, distribution benefited families who had absolutely nothing. Um, they got rice, they had dal, uh, they got dal, they got potatoes, oil, biscuits, um, soap, um, and, and, and many other stuff, including gur and salt, etc. Um, this phase of the project that we are delivering, it is targeting um, uh, almost 800 and, uh, sorry, 8,300 families. It's a 200,000 pound project, um, the first phase of it. Um, eventually, over 40,000 will benefit from this particular phase. Umar Welfare Trust, uh, while we're conducting such uh, projects, are giving priority to uh, the most vulnerable in the communities. Um, that might include large families who have um, uh, high dependency ratios. It might include orphan families, lactating and expecting mothers. Um, it includes um, elderly people um, and also families who might have disabled members uh, uh, of the family. Um, just behind me, um, our brother Habibullah and um, uh, his younger son, who is um, Dayatullah, 10 years old. Uh, the tent uh, behind me over here, uh, which is uh, a very temporary structure, has uh, is no more than three meters by three meters, but is accommodating um, almost um, uh, 10 people um, in this uh, tent uh, to sleep on. They just have a tarpaulin. They have. Um, one uh, very thin uh, sheet made out of cotton or plastic and bamboos and stuff. And ten people are living here. They are cooking inside here. Everything to do with them is, is, is inside here. Um, this particular uh, camp, uh, which is uh, Tankali, this has about uh, 60,000 people um, uh, who are here. We um, uh, extending uh, or expanding on the similar vulnerability, inshallah, uh, Umar Welfare Trust will be starting a uh, program to feed um, uh, 500 um, uh, 500 lactating um, and expecting mothers. Inshallah, ta'ala, we are also looking to start um, a, uh, a distribution program with clothes and medicines. Uh, we are currently um, in discussions to try and get permission for a health center here, um, and also we will be looking to distribute mosquito nets because um, still the rainy season is continuing. It's still warm. Mosquitoes are plentiful. Where the communities have settled, they used to be um, uh, they used to be. Uh, um, woodlands and uh, the brothers, Rohingya brothers and sisters have had to clear these places so mosquitoes are, um, are abundant here and uh, many children can't sleep, they are complaining of sleepless nights. So inshallah ta'ala we'll be looking to distribute some mosquito nets that might just happen tomorrow. We might um, look at about 500 or so families who we can, uh, high priority families who we can assist with that. Um, brothers and sisters, 50 pounds of your donation, just 50 pounds of your donation can help a family uh, with food costs for, uh, for approximately a month. They might give them uh, it can give them 20 kilos of rice, 10 kilos of uh, uh, potatoes, um, 4 kgs of uh, um, salt, onion um, and um, dal along with soaps, biscuits, um, sugar and even uh, 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 more, more essential stuff including uh, uh, tarpaulins. Inshallah ta'ala, Umar Welfare Trust over the next week and a half will continue to do what we can um, to facilitate the brothers and sisters. We request you to keep on making a difference, keep on donating and importantly keep on remembering the Rohingya brothers and sisters in your prayers um, and also um, Umar Welfare Trust in your prayers so that we can make a difference. Jazakumullah khair and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.